So I want to tell you a little bit about cilio retinal artery and why that's important to neuro-ophthalmology. So as you know, in the eye, in the retina, the central retinal artery penetrates the optic nerve and supplies the central retinal artery. It's a branch of the ophthalmic artery. And so when we have embolic disease or vasculitis like giant cell arteritis, it can produce a central retinal artery occlusion. And in the eye, what that looks like is you have diffuse retinal opacity because the retina is ischemic, but we can see a cherry red spot in the center, which is where the thinnest part of the retina is. And because the retina is thinner there, we can see straight down into the choroid and we can see that choroidal spot as a cherry red spot. So that's a typical CRAL. Usually it's very bad because you damage the whole retina and you get visions like count fingers or hand motion or worse. And sometimes people have a cilio retinal artery and that's the thing that saves them. So a cilio retinal artery actually is coming from the ophthalmic, but it's like a posterior ciliary artery branch that comes out through the nerve head and is supplying a piece of the retina. So it, it looks like it's coming right out of the disc like this, and it just happens to be sparing this little piece right here. And so because the occlusion of the thrombus is in the central retinal artery, it did not hit this little posterior ciliary artery, cilio retinal artery, and so that is what we call cilio retinal artery sparing. So we can get sparing of a small patch, often in the macula itself, that might preserve someone's vision to 2030, even though they've had a central retinal artery occlusion, just because they had this anatomic variant, which is just luck. If you see a cilio retinal artery occlusion by itself, you should really be thinking about vasculitis, that's giant cell arteritis because giant cell arteritis has a predilection for these posterior ciliary arteries. But a central retinal artery occlusion without an embolus is also a sign of giant cell. So CRAO with or without the ciliary retinal artery sparing or the ciliary retinal artery involvement alone are giant cell arteritis in elderly patients until proven otherwise. So you need to know a little bit about the cilio retinal artery. The last thing I'll tell you is if you have a central retinal vein occlusion, that increases the back pressure in the venous system. And because the pressure head is actually lower in the cilio retinal artery than in the central retinal artery, just having a vein occlusion could cause a cilio retinal artery occlusion. So the setting of a vein occlusion, you might get a cilio retinal artery occlusion at the same time. And that you don't want to mistake that for vasculitis. That is just perfusion pressure is lower in the cilio retinal artery and the back pressure produces the concomitant cilio retinal artery occlusion in the central retinal vein occlusion. So you need to know about both cilio retinal artery sparing and involvement in neuro.